so when preparing the initial draft or marking up the initial draft, if you're going to include a scrape provision, you should determine up front whether or not that scrape is going to be for damages only or for breach and for damages. And if you wanted to cover both, it's very important to make sure that you draft the provision clearly. It doesn't need to be overly complicated. It's a very, fairly simple and short provision, but it should be very simple and say, the materiality qualifiers contained in Article 3 or Article 4 are disregarded for purposes of calculating damages and for ca determining whether a breach has occurred, if you wanted to cover both. It doesn't need to be fancy. It doesn't need to be extensive. It just needs to be crisp in terms of both damages and for breach. As part of the carve-out study for the M&A committee that I chaired, in reviewing many materiality scrape provisions, you often see situations where people, I think, thought were scraping for both materiality and uh, both for damages and for breach, but really the drafting was not clear, and so there is some ambiguity that could present an issue in reality.